guys, it's your girl Jess. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what I got my girls for Easter, for the Easter basket. And I'm going to show you guys how I assemble their Easter basket. Every single year, I create an Easter basket for my girls. I used to create one for my son. I did last year, but this year he didn't want me to. He's like, mom, can you just give me the cash? Please, I'm grown. I'm almost 17 in July. I don't need no Easter basket. Kind of broke my heart, you guys. My son is my firstborn. A lot of you guys probably do know this or don't. My son lives up in Boston. I live in New Hampshire, but he lives up in Boston with my mom um, throughout the year for basketball. He comes back and forth, but my son travels for basketball and he homeschools online. So he's able to take his education with him. It is AAU season. He's actually gonna be traveling to Philly this Friday. So he won't even be here for Easter. So with that being said, he said, mom, don't make me an Easter basket. He made sure to let me know not to make him an Easter basket and he would just prefer cash. <laughs> Teenagers, my son will be 17 in July. It stinks to hear him say he doesn't want me to create baskets for him or do like just fun things that I do with my girls with him anymore because he's, 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 almost, he's becoming a grown man. I have to get over it. He's my firstborn my first love he's my everything um i hate not having him here with me every day but basketball is his passion it's his dream it's a goal of his he wants to play in college so he has to travel all over sometimes and he's gone and he's practicing he's in the gym and whew, never here with but me. anywho so you won't see me um create an easter basket for him he just wants cash. I'm going to cash app him um, some money so he can get his favorite boba, his favorite lunch, which he loves like Chipotle. He's always on the go. So cash apping him is actually a great gift because then he has money for whatever he wants to um, eat. And so I'm definitely going to send him some, which I'm always sending him money. Jesus. Anywho, so in today's video, I will be showing you guys how I assemble my girls' Easter baskets and what I got for them. Um, for my toddler, she is three and a half, is Leah Marie, and then for my oldest daughter, Zoe. Is Leah Marie still considered a toddler, even though she's three and a half? I think so. She's still my baby, so I'm going to call her that. Um, anywho, so I'm going to show you guys that in just a second, how I assemble their Easter baskets on a budget as well. Like you guys, you don't have to go and spend 25, 30, 40 bucks on those baskets at, uh, that are already made for you that have nothing in it and stuff in there that your kids won't even care for or two pieces of candy. That's just a waste of money if you ask me. There are some that are really, really nice and they cost way more. Um, but honestly, I just love assembling and creating them a basket. I do it for Halloween. I do it for Valentine's Day. I do their stockings um, for Christmas. So I love creating and coming up with stuff and picking out their I like certain items that I know my, my girls would love and actually use. And it's just fun. It's something I love to do. And I got to enjoy it while it lasts before they just start calling me like my son is saying, I just want the money. <laughs> Honestly. So I create a basket every year for my girls. And I'm so excited to be doing it this year. I set a budget. I stick to it. And I'm frugal. I bargain shop all the time. I got a few things from Target, Dollar Store spot no more than like two or three dollars an item the rest of the stuff pretty much came from dollar tree and a few things from maybe like one or two things from dollar general so i stay within budget and i love picking out things that i know they're actually going to like and use and appreciate with that being said, before I jump into that, I just want to say thank you guys for all the love and support that you guys showed me on my last video, which was my spring coffee bar decorate with me video. I appreciate you guys so much. All the comments and the feedbacks and the love was just genuine and so real. And I appreciate that. Honestly, you guys, I gained so many new subscribers. Thank you so much to all my subscribers and all my new subscribers. Welcome to my um, YouTube family. I'm so happy to have you you guys are helping me reach my goal i'm getting closer and closer to hitting my thousand mark so i'm so excited to be on my way there so thank you for all the love and support anywho let's get into this video because i don't want to talk you guys ears off so let me go on ahead and show you um all of my daughter zoe stuff so this is her basket and it says bunny kisses easter wishes um i got this from dollar tree and i love it because of the size 
I'm like, come on, get into it. This is a really good size. It's purple, her favorite color, and it was only $1.25. So I also picked up some of this filler, this green, this green grass, the fake grass, and I'm just gonna put it right inside the basket. And that's just gonna help keep my things like aligned and kind of give it some height. So I'm gonna do that now. And just like that. So that's how that looks. And now let me show you everything that I got her. So I'm gonna start off with the Target stuff. So I got this from Target. It was, it's this little pink Peeps tumbler and it was $3. I got her a purple one to match her basket. And I'm always picking up my girls different little tumblers and cups from the Target dollar spot. Um, I love their stuff. I got their Valentine's Day tumblers from there, Christmas ones, Halloween. Like I, every time a new season holiday comes out, I go to Target and I pick them up one. I have a whole cabinet filled of just different cups and tumblers and water bottles for my girls. Um, and I always get them like matching ones or the same ones in different colors, just because monkey see, monkey do. If I get one for my oldest, my little one wants one too. I promise you. <laughs> so I got her this tumbler, Zoe's. It's purple. It's a peep. She loves peeps. And it was only $3. Really good deal. And then I also got her, oh, this came from Target, this little peeps. Um, bubbles, it was, how much was it? Oh, it doesn't have a price. I know I only paid a dollar for it, though. I only paid a dollar for it. These little, they came four in a pack for a dollar. Um, what are these? Scented? Yes, they are scented. Mm, they smell good too. This one smells like lemon. This one smells like blueberry. They're Play-Doh. Scented Play-Doh. They came four in a pack for a dollar. I took two out and they're going to go inside Zoe's. These two are going to go inside Zoe's basket. I got her these two squishies from Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree, you guys, do not sleep on Dollar Tree. They had some really good Easter fillers for um, the baskets this year. Really good stuff. And because they have the plus section, they have really good name brand candy as well. I got these two squishies. My kids love sensory toys. Um, both my girls do. This one is in the shape of a strawberry and this is a banana one. So I got two of those. Um, these came two in a pack from Dollar Tree. I have one out for Leah and this they're just little notebooks, little notepad. And I'm giving this one to Zoe. It's a gnomes. She loves little notepads. This little airplay ear dry i don't know if it's like slime anywho it was a dollar 25 actually from dollar tree so i got her that sensory stuff she loves it i also got her this cute pen she's just like me i love having just cute little dainty girly pens around the house i have several of these in different colors dollar 25 from dollar tree you guys know it's a dollar 25 is from dollar tree this actually came from the target spot for a dollar it's a light up um, slinky and his light says light up right there and it does light up and it has like little stars and moons on it. So I got that from Target. Then from Dollar Tree, it came six in a pack, right? One, two, three, four. No, eight in a pack. Sorry, eight in a pack. Um, these stamps and they're just different little Easter stamps and I took four for Zoe and four for Leah. So that's gonna go inside of her basket. I also got her create your own little slime kit for Zoe, $1.25. This is from Dollar Tree. I got this little squeezy toy, another sensory toy. She has tons of these and like different themes and shapes and stuff like that and colors. What's, what's on it? Oh, a piece of hair. Um, this is in the shape of an ice cream. This was from Dollar Tree as well. And I also got her this little poppet bracelet. She has tons of bracelets like this, so I know she'll like it. And I got this from Dollar Tree as well. And it glows in the dark. I got her a hand sanitizer. My daughter loves hand sanitizer. And it's the aloe scent. It has a little glittery um, holder to keep the hand, san hand sanitizer in and then she can just connect it to her book bag. She is all about keeping germs away. You guys know she gets sick really easily. Um, so I got her this from Dollar Tree. And then I got her the water snake is what they call these because they slip right out your hands. 
Um, and my girls have tons of these. And I paid like five, ten bucks for the medium sized ones for five dollars, ten dollars for the big ones from Walmart. And they even five, I think they're like three or four dollars, um, three dollars for the this size at Walmart. But I saw these at Dollar Tree and they were a dollar twenty-five. So I picked her up one in blue. She has so many other ones in different colors. Then I picked her up the spiral art tracer. You guys remember these growing up? I know I do. And I know she's been asking for one. My daughter's into a lot. Both my girls are into arts and crafts. Zoe's into like pesco markers and all that fancy expensive arts and craft stuff. So like the markers and pencils that cost me like 30 bucks a pack for like six of them. Anywho, so I picked her up this because I know she would like it. I'm actually going to do this with her. It comes with what five pieces this was a dollar 25 from dollar tree they have like a whole section for like um it's called um easter basket stuffers like a whole section of like just different random things and i just went in that aisle and grabbed a whole bunch of stuff i also picked up this little paddle ball you guys remember playing this growing up it was so much fun it was a dollar 25 i picked up this for zoe I also picked her up. She won. <laughs> Let me tell you guys really quickly. So she said, Mom, can you give me like the little Chinese Asian fans? You know what I'm talking about that we be seeing at the market? And I'm like, no. And then they're red though. And they have like the Chinese writing. And she showed me a picture. So when I was in Dollar Tree, I was in the toy section. I saw these and one was like this open. And I was like, oh my God, I got to get that. It almost looks like the one that Zoe wants from um, the Chinese market, that the Asian market that we go to. And you just open it up like this. And oh, it actually matches me. And just gives you like Princess Diana bougie vibes is what I call them. <laughs> no, so she really wanted one of these. So I picked up one. I thought it was so cute. And then in my head, I was like, oh, what if I got several of them and hung them on her wall in her room? That would be cute, too. That's just me always just thinking of a way to decorate. Anywho, but I picked her up one from Dollar Tree for $1.25. Love it. So I got her that. It's actually really pretty. But anyways, I picked up this purple bath bomb in the scent of grape um, from Dollar Tree. So I got that to put in her basket. I got this gel bead eye mask. She's been asking for one. So when we do our facials, and she has to do her swash up in her face morning and night that's part of her routine um every day when she showers so in the morning she has to wash her face in at night so at night when she gives herself a quick little facial she wants to put these on she says she sees me do it but i honestly use these for when i have really bad sinuses i suffer from like sinus infections Ugh. um so now that spring's coming i'm probably going to be like dying not to be funny um so i always have one in the freezer and it just really helps with my sinuses are sore but she wants one so i picked her up one um and she doesn't have sinuses um problems but i picked her up one because she wants to be able to wear it before she goes to bed she says i said okay so i picked her up one from dollar tree for a dollar 25 i also picked her up this um bath glove and it's to scrub your skin when you're washing your face and she has a, a wand um brush one that she has but she wanted a glove like i have one so i picked her up one in this little i don't know it's like bluish different tone color cheetah print i want to say so that was a dollar 25 then my daughter is so into lip glosses she has so many different ones um i don't let her wear like bright lipsticks and stuff like that i'll let her wear tinted lip glosses um or like a light light brown a tan color um it's fine or pink that's fine, but not lipstick, just the lip glosses. Just a, like a little shine of it. Um, so I got her the blueberry scent and it says no bad days. And I love it because it has this little holder, lip gloss holder. And she could put it right on her bag, her school bag or her pocketbook or whatever she wants to put it on. That's from Dollar Tree for, for $1.25. Then I got her this glitter lip gloss and it's a really light tan tint. And she loves this color actually i brought her a few different ones like this um but i got this one from dollar tree so i got her that and then she likes smell goods like lotions and sprays um so like when she gets out the shower and stuff and she sees i have bath and body work ones and i was going to get her some for easter but i actually am going to go get her a whole set um of the three 
mini um lotions and the three mini body sprays so she can i could put them in her caddy um and then i'm gonna also get her like the lip gloss and the night lip mask and stuff she actually has that stuff in her caddy but it's not from bath and body works she likes the stuff that i recently well i've got my mom got me for christmas and i recently like stocked up on stuff from Bath and Body Works and she really likes their lip glosses and their lotions and spray. So I didn't get it for her Easter basket because her birthday's in April. I'm gonna give her, I'm gonna gift her that for her birthday. So I didn't get it for that. But I did see at Dollar Tree, they had these really cute, look how cute this is, the packaging. I'm a sucker for how things are packaged or um, how they're like stored in like bottles like i love packaging it's so pretty but anywho these two smell so good they're from dollar tree it's called the spa luxury body lotion and this one is love struck body lotion inspired by the victoria's secret love spell i actually remember having this lotion too back in the day but yes look at this it smells so good i wish you guys can smell it it smells really good um that was $1.25. And then this one, same thing, Spa Luxury Crave. It's a plum scent, plum fierce scent body lotion. And it smells so, this one smells really good. Um, and they're purple in her favorite color. So I picked her up two of these so she can put in her caddy basket. Her up this milk chocolate Reese's peanut butter bunny because she loves Reese's. Um, and it was $5 from the plus section. So I picked her up that, and, and I picked up these lollipop rings. Look how cute they are, the peeps. They came four in a pack for $1.25, so I'm giving her two and two to Leah. And then I got these double bubblegum egg-shaped bubblegums from Dollar Tree. And then I picked up these Reese pieces. They look like they're in a carrot, in the shape of a carrot, but they're orange Reese pieces. And then I picked up, they came four in a pack, um, cotton candy. And I picked up the Happy Easter um, one that they had out. They still had Valentine's Day candy out, but I got the Easter um, themed cotton candy. And I gave one for um, each, and then I kept one for myself. So a little cotton candy. And then they came eight in a pack, sugar, um, you know, the sugar candy. So, and they're in the shape of a carrot inside a sugar candy. And I gave four to Zoe. So that is everything for her. Um, is that everything? Yes, that's everything for her basket. So I'm gonna show you guys how I assemble the basket. <laughs> how I assembled it and then I have this clear plastic bag and I'm gonna see if it fits in there 
I got these two in a pack from um, Dollar Tree. So let's see if it fits. Oh, I think it's gonna fit you guys. Let me make sure I don't wanna rip it. Yes, it does, it does fit. And then I'm going to, I thought I had, I don't, I had these from Lash, oh, I do have the little piece of wire, this little wire piece. And number two is, try to make sure it's right in the center. And then I'm just gonna do, let me see. I don't want it to whip. Okay, perfect. Now let me tie it and I'm gonna add ribbon. Get the ear out. And I'm gonna ribbon around it. So I have this ribbon and this one. I'm not sure which one I want to use, quite frankly, yet. So let me open up this one. If I can. There we go. And it looks like this, carrots. And it has a little pink in it. I do have some scissors. So let's see. I don't know. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but I want to make sure. I kind of want it to be like a big piece of, a big row of bow, if that makes sense. I'm going to try. you guys so this is how it came out you guys can see and this is Zoe's Easter basket all done we'll put it to the side I love it and I'll show you guys a front on sorry for the shakiness too I love it a little piece of tape <clears throat> just so I can tape. Oh. Cause the bag is big, just this little piece to the back. Just like that. Now it looks like it's on there evenly. I love it. All right, you guys. So let's go on ahead and do Leah's basket. So this is her pink basket. It says, shake your bunny tail. I got it from Dollar Tree as well um, for $1.25. I got hers in pink, Zoe's is in purple. I already put the green grass in here to, to fill it up to give some height to all the goodies I'm gonna put in here. So I got her that. I also got her um, a Hershey's um, Popa Dot Cookies and Cream Bunny and it was $5 from the plus section. Got her that. Um, and she loves the cookies and cream, so I picked up that one from her. I got the double bubble, egg-shaped bubble gum for her as well. Monkey see, monkey do, what her older sister wants, she wants to. So, I always have to get matching everything when it comes to, like, candies and stuff. Jesus. <laughs> and then I got Leah two of, I gave her two of the, um little peep ring pops as well because they came four in a pack so she got two i gave her her own pack of reese's the cotton candy came three in a pack so i gave her the pink one and i'm gonna keep one and then um she got four of the little carrot shaped sugar powder candy they love these um so i gave her four because they came eight in a pack so I gave Zoe four and her, and then that's all the candy because we do we had a lot of Easter eggs um, for the egg hunt, and they come with a whole bunch of different candy. So 
Etsy. I got um, Leah from Target. So this came from the Target spot and it was $3. The pink tumbler, the peeps, just like Zoe's, but in pink. And then from the Target spot, I also got the bath crayons. You guys, this is a hit if you have kiddos who even little like who love drawing and stuff and want to write on your walls, put them in the bathtub with some bath crayons. They can write all over the bathtub walls and this washes off so easily. I just use a little bit of bleach and it just comes right off with one wipe um, or Clorox wipes too. That works. Um, but Leah is at in its age three plus and up. Um, Leah's at that age where she wants to color, color, color. Um, and she loves bath time. So this makes bath time so much fun. Um, so I got a two sets of different colors. These are like more vibrant, the pinks, the blues, the greens, the yellows, um, like brighter ones. And this has a green too, but darker tone, blue, purple, and red. And they were only a dollar from Target. So I got her two packs of those. What else came from Target? Oh, this came from Target. The light up slinky, but it lights up. It's a slinky. You can see the little stars when it lights up from the top here. Oh, that's cute, almost like a projector. But yep, this was a dollar as well. So I got her that from Target. So I think that's, oh, and I also got this from Target for her. And this was a dollar, this big old bubbles. And she loves bubbles. She'll blow them everywhere throughout the house, outside, even though she's not supposed to be doing it in the house. But my husband lets her do whatever she wants. <laughs> <laughs> she's the little one um in his eyes she's still the baby but she got a bubble from target and that's everything from target now i'll show you what i got from dollar tree for dollar tree she got a squishy toy as well it's in the shape of a grape she also got this little um sketch doodle pad from dollar tree I got this for her for $1.25. She's going to love that. She has a big one, so this one will be perfect for the car. I got her a lot of arts and crafts stuff, so I got her some princess markers. She's obsessed with princess. I also got her the mini gel pens as well for her so she can color and not use her sister's pesco markers and her fancy pens and crayons and pencils. She does not like sharing, which I don't blame her because... They're expensive. I pay like 30 bucks for Pesco markers for like a six pack and all those fancy crayons and like sketch pencil, expensive. Um, so anyways, I got this for Leah. They come 10 in a pack um, from Dollar Tree. I also got this chalk princess chalk for the uh, for outside from Dollar Tree. She's gonna love that. She loves writing on the ground. Um, she loves going outside and just doing fun stuff come spring and summer. I also got her her own color pencils. So she thinks she has what her sister has. <laughs> and then I got her the same thing, this little paddle ball. Little thingy thingy jean majiga. She got that as well. Um, I got her, she is so into Little Mermaid. Um, I got her this little paint. What is this? The paint your own artboard set. From Dollar Tree. This is really good to come from Dollar Tree. She's gonna love it because she loves painting and it's the new mermaid. Um, I got her a Crayola one and it's actually from Dollar Tree as well. She's gonna love it. Anything arts and crafts she can paint, she loves. I also got her the unicorn color activity book. She's gonna love that. Then I'm gonna make sure I'm showing you everything. I also got her the ear o play, same thing, this little squishy stuff that the girls I know love. She also got four stamps. They came eight in a pack, so I'm giving four to her. She also got a water snake in pink. And she also got a notebook. They came two in a pack, a notepad, I should say, so she can scribble dibble in there. So she has one of her own. She also has her own lip gloss. It's the berry scent, and it comes in this little unicorn lip gloss holder. And she loves, oh my God, my toddler loves lip gloss and makeup. I don't even know why, because it's not like I'm big on makeup, but she, I think from watching TV, like YouTube and stuff, and seeing her sister do like lip gloss, she loves lip gloss. So I got her own. She can just put it right on her little, she has like a little tiny book bags, like Jojo, the princess one, the mermaid one. She could, I could put it on there for her as well as um, she has crossover um, bags too. <laughs> I could put on there for her. 
So that is so cute. And then I got her the Jojo Seawalk um, socks. Obsessed with Jojo. It's so funny. My oldest daughter used to be obsessed years ago. Now my youngest one is. And I got this from the Plus Spot um, at Dollar Tree for $3. And it comes with how many in a pack? Five pairs. That's actually really good for $3. And then she's obsessed with the magical towels. Both my girl, all my kids were. My son was that way when he was younger. Like the, I used to get him like the car ones, um, the Toy Story ones. And he was obsessed with them. And so was my daughter. She was obsessed to my oldest one. Now, Leah is obsessed with them because they, when you put them in water, they expand to a washcloth. So I got her on an Elsa one, a mermaid one, and then a Cinderella one. As well as, that's everything from Dollar Tree. Yep, that's everything I got from Dollar Tree. And then I gave her two of the scented Play-Dohs in the light pink and green. Light green, um... I got these from Dollar General. They came four in a pack. So I gave two to her and two to Zoe. So that's everything that I got her. Now let's go on ahead and assemble hers fairly quickly. Because somehow I know this video is going to be long. <laughs> and I was trying to avoid that. But it's okay. I like chatting with you guys. I like hanging out with you guys. Why not? Life's too short. We need to hang out more. All right, you guys, so take the sides down. This is how they came out. Look how nice this looks. This is my toddler's, Lily's. Hers is all done. And then there is Zoe's. 
And they're perfect. I love them. Great way to make a fun basket. Easily just grab it on the sides. I'm so excited. I can't wait for them to see everything. I got them. But that's going to be it for today's video. I just wanted to get on here, do something different besides just decorating. Because um, it's, you know, more to me and more to my channel besides just decorating. I am a mom. I am a wife. I want to be able to show, like, family um, fun activities and things that we do and motherhood content and all that great jazz. So I definitely want to get on here and show you guys what I purchase my girls for easter as well as show you guys how i assembled their baskets um to make a fun cute affordable budget friendly easter basket with items that i know my girls are gonna love and enjoy and appreciate um and yeah it's so much fun so much fun i absolutely love creating baskets for my girls but that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave a comment down below. Let me know if you guys um, create um, your own Easter baskets for your kiddos. Um, let me know if you like this Easter, of uh, the girls' Easter baskets. If you want to know where I got anything, don't hesitate to just ask me. A lot of this stuff came from, I'll um, actually put it in the description area where I brought these items from. So I'm going to put like Dollar Tree, um, Target, and Dollar General, which I only got like one thing from Dollar General. Um, but that's gonna be it, you guys. And happy spring, even though it snowed where I'm at. We have a whole bunch of snow on the ground. Happy spring, I hope everyone's doing well. Love you all, and thank you guys again for all the love and support that you guys showed in my last video. If you haven't saw my spring coffee bar decorate with me, I will link it down in the description area, and I'll see you guys in my next video, bye.